Everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Have you by chance heard of the gourmet? Read his cookbook? Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. And assume the role of Master Chef. Now let's get down to business. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Come with me. Our feast is about to begin. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries. I always imagined the great gourmet was a wood elf. Only someone with a knowledge of woodland herbs could combine... Not many wood elves would choose to come alone to Skyrim. An old storeroom. See if you can find some potions. I'm sure he'd help you out. A dragon! I saw a dragon! Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. You just find that lying around? Must be your lucky day. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Help yourself to whatever you need. Within reason. You look like you could do with a ripe apple. Or a tomato. Cabbage. Or leek. Can I help you? Good dog. One sip of the elixir and your wishes will be granted. Great wealth. Everlasting life. Or perhaps limitless power could be yours. How much does it cost? Where do you want to go? Listen. You should go to solitude. Positions. Oh, let me just... Take a look. I hope you have something nice to wear. Our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. Work? How about drink? Real Blackbriar mead? You know what? I like you. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. Gotta admit that little Chester's good with that butter knife. Come on, let's get something to eat. You naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. You're going to a wedding. Eat some cake. Stab the bride. You hungry? There's plenty of food. Eat up now. Ugh, your breath is foul. What have you been eating? The gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markarth. Get to work. We have meals to prepare and no time to prepare them. Right away, sir. Always another big meal to cook. The... the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. Look, his name is Balagog Gronolobe. He's an orc. The gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. Gourmet? Why, I... uh... Oh dear. You're going to kill me now, aren't you? You'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage, so you can take his place. I'm collecting ingredients to bring to the gourmet. He'll think my taste so refined when I offer them to him. You have heard of the gourmet? Oh my. You? It is an honor. Your food has opened my eyes to the wonders this world can hold. I've cooked every dish in your book, and I must say your brilliance is inspiring. My technique surely doesn't even approach yours, but whose would? Allow me to give you this. The fork I used the first time I tasted one of your dishes. Oh, and these ingredients I've been collecting for you. I've risked life and limb so that you may create another masterpiece. 
Make sure to think of me when you use them. I can't believe I just met the Gourmet. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra, the Gourmet. I'm, I'm sorry. Your clothes, of course. I, I should have realized. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You should proceed to the kitchen straight away. The Gourmet? Oh, finally! When I heard the Gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. The Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? Really? Okay. Tomatoes. Simple, yet infinitely flavorful. Ah, of course. I suspected as much. Blackbriar mead. Thistle. Just a sprig or two. Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Mmm. Horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. We should add some chorus eggs for additional flavor. One giant's toe. I think a pinch of frost salt should do the trick. Ooh, how decadent. I never would have guessed it. A septum? As in, a gold coin? Really? Ah, I see now. That would give the Potage Le Magnifique a slightly metallic but delicious aftertaste. Ha! <laughs> Simply brilliant. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right then, your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. The emperor's gonna love it. How can he not? As emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. I prefer a good roast duck. But your soup will do. Mmm, the potage le magnifique smells delicious. Maybe when this is all over, you could sign one of your cookbooks for me? I'm so You're not nervous. at all what I expected. I imagined you'd be fatter, honestly. <gasps> Someone Help! Do something. Someone's being. By the gods! The Gourmet has killed the Emperor! Those Attack! The are actually fighting! But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <coughs> roasted alive. Come on! We've discovered that some of the dead have been... Thank you. ...eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. An apple to keep you healthy? A tomato to keep you strong? Some much-needed oomph! You'd better get a move on. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarl can hardly eat every fish now, can he? The secret recipe to ensure the best flavor. Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. I'm not sure what it's made from, but I can tell you that once you've had a taste, you'll never crave anything else. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Yes, I guess I can see how that would add a more 
earthy texture. Even when you get to the last sip in your flagon, it'll taste just as good as the first. In fact, I've just added some new ingredients to the mixture that I think makes it taste better than ever. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. What's the harm in just one bite? Ah, now here's an item out of legend. This is Iskramor's soup spoon. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is no spoon, it's a fork. Nobody can eat soup with a fork. Well, my friend, you did not know the gourmet. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Klimek? Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. Dovahkin, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Fresh vegetables for sale. Straight from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. Really? Remember, fresh food and vegetables every day. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. The missus and I love your strawberry tarts. Now we need to prepare a grand feast to welcome you. You will have the honor of bringing a fresh kill for the main course. Maybe you'd like to try the hork or some beef. You don't prepare the meat with any of those strange elven spices, do you? Ah, no, no elven spices, just some salt to preserve it. You're not afraid of salt, are you? I've got a recipe for venison stew that I want to try out. Will you have venison anytime soon? Certainly. I'll be sure to bring some back for you the next time I go hunting. Make it quick and there might be a bowl of hot stew in it for you. <laughs> I'm gonna eat well tonight, my <laughs> darling. <laughs> 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 Another of the smooth skins looking for food? Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time. Be gone, world eater. We shout you out from all our endings unto the last. Yes, the world eater is gone. Let's save that appetite, hmm? Aldrin has returned, the World Eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. Saran Uth, I await your command. Zuk Brit Uth. Amativ, Mu Bokotin Stinselok. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Dragara below, foul tasting. And I've invited you to dinner. I've been invited to dinner. I'm so hungry. Far you've traveled, your trials long, to taste of Sovngarde's sweet delights. To taste of Sovngarde's sweet delights. I knew this feast was going to be something. I was just about to eat. Here, you should have the first bite. This good deed should not go unrewarded. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. And with that, the tour is over. I thank you for your patronage, and I hope to see you again soon.